Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're talking about different classifications of matter. But before we get to the different types of matter, let's talk about what matter is. Matter is what makes up everything around you. It is defined as anything that has mass and occupies space. Now, broadly, matter can be broken down into two different subdivisions. These are pure substances, things that have a fixed or definite composition, and mixtures, things that are made up of two or more substances that are physically combined but not chemically combined. First, let's talk about pure substances, which can be further subdivided into two types, elements, and compounds. Elements are made up of one type of atom. So these are things I'm sure you've heard of, things like gold, silver, hydrogen, helium, sodium, fluorine, oxygen, chlorine, titanium. These are all examples of elements. Everything that you see on the periodic table is an element. Compounds, on the other hand, are things that are made of two types of atoms in the same proportion. Also notice that two types of atoms are the minimum, so it can be more than two types of atoms that make up a compound. So, for example, when we think of compounds, we think of things like water, H2O, hydrogen peroxide, which is H2O2, carbon dioxide, which is CO2, sodium chloride, which is NaCl. These are all examples of compounds that are made up of two or more types of atoms in the same proportion. That is, every single water molecule has two hydrogens and one oxygen. Every single molecule of hydrogen peroxide has two hydrogens and two oxygens. And so the components that are making up these compounds, note that these are elements. So, for example, hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, sodium, chlorine, these are all elements that make up compounds. Now let's go back to talking about mixtures. Remember that mixtures are made of two or more pure substances that have been physically combined, but are, they're not chemically combined. So there aren't chemical bonds between the individual components. They can be subdivided further into homogeneous mixtures or heterogeneous mixtures. Homogeneous or homogeneous mixtures have a uniform composition. This includes things like the saline solution that you may put your contacts in at night. Also things like the air that we breathe. So saline solution is made of sodium chloride and water, but in a uniform composition. This means that the sodium chloride is dissolved in the water, and just in looking at the saline solution, you cannot distinguish those two different components. It all looks like an even mixture. Air is the same way. We can't see air, but it's an even mixture of several different gases, things like oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, argon, etc. These all make up the air that we are always inhaling. Heterogeneous mixtures are those that have a variable composition. This means that it is a mixture of two different substances, but if you look at the mixture, you can see the different substances. One of the best examples is oil and water. So if you mix oil and water together, they tend to clump into bits of oil or water. They don't want to mix very evenly, and so they make up a heterogeneous mixture when forced together. Another example of a heterogeneous mixture is salt water.
So for example, here when I say salt water, I'm talking about like sea water, so water in the ocean. If you take a cupful of water from the ocean, from the beach, it's going to contain water, it's going to contain sand, it's going to contain different kinds of salt, different kinds of debris, broken up shells, etc. Uh, and you can hold it up to the light and see all of the particulate matter mixed in with the water. And so being able to see all of those particulates in the ocean water is what makes it a heterogeneous mixture. So that is it for the different ways to classify matter. I hope you learned a lot and thanks for watching Biology Professor.